Rebirth of Gao Shun from the Three Kingdoms, I am truly not a Chao thief introduction. www.jiaoshuyuan.com Cross through the Three Kingdoms, Lu Bu's General Gao Shun, gained the talent of Chao thief, and formed the strongest female team in history. Pioneer Jiao Chan, LV Bu, Xiaohou Jiao, Zhang Fei, Military Commander Huang Yueying, Zhuge Liang, Zhang Chunhua, Sima Yi, Commander Xiao Qiao, Zhou Yu, LV Lingqi, Gao Shun, General De Qiao, Sun Su, Du Madam, Guan Yu, HTTPS, forward slash forward slash www.zayashun.com Chapter 1 Feng Lu Academician and Beauty Jiao Chan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, General Gao Shan, Wei Su despises our military orders and is not suitable for great use. I will hand over the eastern city of Shepi to the general. With the general's ability, we can ensure the safety of the eastern city L. Yubu patted Gao Shun's shoulder and walked down the east city tower with full trust in his eyes. Leave Gao Shun alone, standing on the high city wall, chaotic in the wind. Leave it to me. I'll keep my butt shut. That's right, I traveled through time and became General Gao Shun of the Lu Bu tribe. He was the military genius in history who led 700 trapped camps, conquered everything, fought invincibly, and was unparalleled in loyalty and righteousness, sacrificing all his life. Regarding Gao Shun, L. V. Bu does not trust him. Usually, he hands over 700 trapped camps to his brother. In. Law Wei Su for command. But just this morning, General Ho Cheng, Wei Su, and Song Xian drank alcohol, breaking L. V. Bu's prohibition on alcohol. L. V. Bu was furious and ordered the three to be punished. The three of them were all paralyzed by the beating, and Lu Bu couldn't find anyone to use. That's why he returned the trapped camp to Gao Shun and let him guard the most important eastern city. Dong Cheng is the main attack direction of Chao's army. If it were Gao Shun in history, he would not be afraid. I believe that as long as there are no spies, he will definitely be able to defend it. But now Gao Shun is just a cultural relic restoration expert from the 21st century, without any understanding of military strategy or battlefield command. God, even if I behaved improperly in my previous life, I don't need to be punished like this, do I? In the 21st century, Gao Shun, also known as Gao, had a single name with one meaning. I graduated from Jida Archaeology with a doctoral degree and can be considered a top student. I have been studying cultural relic restoration for over a decade and was awarded the title of Academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences before the age of 40. It can be said that the future is boundless. But Gao Shun played poorly with a good hand. As an academician, he unexpectedly had an affair with his colleague's wife, and his affair was exposed. He was expelled from the Chinese Academy of Sciences and all treatment was cancelled. But he didn't stop, opened an antique shop and hung out with his wives from several neighboring shops. In the end, his wife and children parted ways, and he also collapsed and died one night. Then came this haunted place. The city of Xiapi, which was defended by Lu Bu during the Three Kingdoms period. At this time, Xiapi was already surrounded by the Chao army on all sides. Chao Chao dug up the Siswi River, causing water to flood the entire city of Xiapi. The people's hearts and military morale were in chaos. The city is in great danger. Lu Bu placed high hopes on Gao Shun and handed over the most crucial eastern city to him. Ku Gao Shun looked at the soldiers with 700 armor bundles in front of him, a question mark on his head. I only know how to restore cultural relics, but I don't know how to command them. On the day of his rebirth, Gao Shun swore to cherish the opportunity given to him by heaven and start anew. Never act recklessly like in your past life, causing harm to others and yourself. Gao Shun's head spun rapidly, contemplating his possible path to survival. Firstly, defending the city is definitely death. Chao Chao's army was mostly located outside the eastern city, 
with only 700 soldiers trapped in the camp and only two to 3,000 ordinary soldiers with scattered morale. The key is that one does not have any commanding ability. 700 trapped camps in my hands are all in vain. Defending the city will lead to death. Surrender, this is actually a way to survive. Gao Shunquan doesn't care about the accusation of being a traitor to his master. With his reputation of being invincible and invincible, Boss Chao heard of his surrender and was likely to be overjoyed. But what will happen afterwards? Boss Chao really wants himself to charge into battle, why don't he still hiccup? Isn't being in a camp like charging into a battle? If you can't stand up, what does Boss Chao want you to do? It is estimated that either he will die in front of the battle or he will be beheaded by Chao Chao. Not to mention the complete destruction of one's reputation, one will also die. It's really not worth it. So there's only one last way left, escape. Come on. When Xiepi city was first besieged, LV Bu personally led his daughter LV Lingqi to rush out of the city, hoping to marry Yuan Shu in Huainan and seek reinforcements. But it failed to break through. With Gao Shun's strength, breaking through is even more delusional. Surrender, fight to death, and escape are all dead ends, and the key is that Gao Shun cannot even lie flat and lie down. Because he was proficient in history, he knew that after Ho Cheng, Wei Su, and Song Xian were beaten, he would tie up El Vibu, Chen Gong, and himself to surrender to Chao Chao. At the latest, tomorrow morning, I will be beheaded by Boss Chao. It is also impossible to report to Lu Bu. Although Lu Bu attacked Wei Su, Wei Su was his brother. In law. Being estranged, Gao Shun now holds military power and runs to tell LV Bu that Wei Su is going to rebel. It is estimated that LV Bu, who is suspicious, will first tie himself up. After much contemplation, Gao Shun couldn't even think of a way out. God, why are you unfair to me? Gao Shun looked up to the sky and sighed deeply. Thinking about others traveling, they all have a golden finger or something, and it seems like they have nothing. Just as he was reborn, a voice rang out in his mind. Chao Thief's talent has been successfully bound, Yin and Yang are inverted, and the universe is reversed. But after studying for half a month, Gao Shun didn't understand what this sentence meant. During this half month, Gao Shun didn't feel any changes in his body. There was no sound in my mind anymore. Looking back now, it's mostly my own illusion. Thief, since you don't give me a chance to reform, then don't blame my dog for not being able to change and eat shit. Gao Shun became angry. Since the heavens don't leave me a way to survive, why don't I take advantage of my last moments and enjoy myself? Be a carefree ghost even in death. In Gao Shun's mind, a beautiful figure suddenly appeared, graceful and unparalleled. That is Jiao Chan, the concubine of LV Bu, at the age of twenty, an unparalleled beauty. When Gao Shun first saw Jiao Chan, he was captivated by her stunning appearance. However, at that time, Gao Shun was determined to become a new person, even if he had self-proclaimed for five consecutive nights, he resolutely extinguished his desire. But now, Gao Shun decided not to bear it anymore. Before dying, one can taste the taste of the four great beauties in history. How many people can there be in China for five thousand years? Gao Shun gave a brief explanation of the city defense matters, and then quietly explored the residence of Lu Bu that had infiltrated the city. At this time, in Xiapi City, Ho Cheng, Wei Su, and other generals of LV Bu were plotting a rebellion. LV Bu was guarding the southern city, while Chen Gong was handling busy logistical dispatch affairs in the government office. Almost all the soldiers in the city have been transferred to the city, so that there are not many soldiers guarding the LUBU mansion. Gao Shun skillfully climbed over the courtyard wall, climbed a large yellow horn tree, and observed the entire layout of the courtyard before walking lightly to the backyard of Lubu mansion. Chao, where is the battle robe I asked you to sew? Why hasn't it been sewn in half a day? Did your hands grow on your buttocks? And Yu Jiao Chan, do you think you are still the delicate daughter of the city mansion? 
let you clean up the incense hall. Are you dead inside? My wife is going to pick up her husband and come back for dinner. If you haven't done your own thing by then, the family will take care of you as soon as Gao Shun entered the backyard, he heard Lu Bu's wife, Yen Shi, shouting loudly in the courtyard. This woman in her thirties still retains her charm. If she doesn't open her mouth, her appearance can score 85 points, but with just one mouth, she instantly leaves her six roots clean. Jiao Chan is in the fragrant hall. Gao Shun captured important information and, taking advantage of Yen Shi's lack of attention, rushed to the corner of the incense hall wall. Dipped some saliva on my finger, lightly poked a hole in the window paper. Squinting his eyes, he looked through the small hole and indeed saw the figure of Jiao Chan. It's so beautiful. I saw Jiao Chan kneeling in front of the incense burner, praying devoutly with her hands clasped together. Her serious and pretty face was like smoke and dew, and her eyes were as watery as a pond. Seeing Gao Shan, she only wanted to push Jiao Chan down and admire him fiercely. My adoptive father, have you seen it in the sky? Jiao Chan has tried her best, but she is still powerless. Find Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com My adoptive father, you wanted to restore the Han dynasty in your lifetime. For the sake of the Han dynasty, you sent Chao Chao to assassinate Dong Zhuo. Chao Chao's assassination attempt was unsuccessful, and you used Chan Er's repeated tactics to ultimately eliminate Dong Zhuo. After Dong Zhuo's death, Li Zhuo and Guo Xi besieged Chang'an, intending to harm the emperor. You, for the sake of the great Han, resolutely jumped down from the city of Chang'an in exchange for the peace of the emperor. But even after your death, the emperor still died. He was first persecuted by warlords from the western Yang dynasty such as Li Gui and Guo Xi, and now he is even being held hostage by the treacherous Chao Chao. Chao Chao held the emperor hostage to command the feudal lords, and his name was Han Xiang, but he was actually a Han thief. My daughter wants to inherit the will of her adoptive father, help LV Bu defeat Chao Chao, and save the emperor of Han from water and fire. Kulbu launched a surprise attack on Yen Zhou and although he achieved a great victory, he was ultimately defeated by the Chao bandits. I wanted LV Bu and Lu Bei to unite and resist Chao together, but I didn't expect Lu Bei to conspire with Chao Chao and plunder Shuzhou together. Now, the city of Shepi is besieged by the Chao army, and the Chao bandits have flooded Shepi, causing countless deaths and injuries among the people. LV Bu is also on the verge of defeat. My daughter is really desperate. She doesn't know what else she can do to save the Han dynasty and fulfill her adoptive father's last wish. My adoptive father, if you have a spirit in heaven, can you tell your daughter what else she can do for the great Han? The fragrant hall was filled with whimpering cries, and Jiao Chan's tears kept dripping onto the cattail. Anyway, my daughter's life was originally picked up by my adoptive father. Now that I can't fulfill my adoptive father's last wish, what's the use of living in this world? My daughter will come down now to apologize to her adoptive father, my adoptive father, Chan'er is here. Jiao Chan took out a short knife from her arms and placed it horizontally on her snow.white neck. Perhaps I can help you. Just then, a male voice sounded behind Jiao Chan. Jiao Chan's face turned pale with fear, and she quickly turned around to see Gao Shun standing behind her. Chapter 2 Revitalizing the Han Dynasty, Jiao Chan Amidst Dust You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, General Gao, how did you get in? Jiao Chan saw Gao Shun and immediately felt relieved. Because Gao Shun has always been upright, innocent, and dignified, he will never deviate from his own intentions. Jiao Chan is just strange, how could Gao Shun enter the back hall? Has Xiaopi already been breached? He came to take himself and Lu Bu's other family members to escape. But how did he enter the incense hall? Isn't the door locked? Eh. When did the window open a crack? It must have been blown away by the wind. General Gao is honest and upright, 
so it is impossible for him to break through the window and enter the room. Madam, I have a plan to restore the tranquility and brightness of the Han dynasty. I am here to offer it to Madam. Oh! Jiao Chan was greatly surprised. It's not surprising that Gao Shun has a plan. He often has a plan to offer to Lu Bu, but Lu Bu doesn't listen. Jiao Chan's strange thing is, why did he offer himself advice? The young woman doesn't understand military and state affairs. General Gao has a plan, but she can offer it to General LV. General Gao's private entry into the inner courtyard is really inappropriate, let alone us, a lonely man and a widow, living together in the same room. Jiao Chan didn't continue, believing that with Gao Shun's character, he should know the right balance. Madam, do you think it would be useful to present the strategy for revitalizing the Han dynasty to General LV? This is quite true. At this point, Jiao Chan had to admit that not only did Lu Bu never have the intention of revitalizing the Han dynasty, but his actions were all for his own personal gain. Moreover, LV Bu did not have the ability to revitalize the Han dynasty and help himself fulfill his adoptive father's last wish. Moreover, Gao Shun had offered advice to LV Bu several times, but LV Bu refused to accept it, resulting in his current situation. No matter how clever Gao Shun's strategy was, it was in vain when he arrived at Lu Bu's place. What did General Gao just say? Is there a plan to make the Han dynasty secluded and restore the Ming dynasty? Jiao Chan's eyes lit up. Exactly, Gao Shunsu came to know that his wife was responsible for revitalizing the Han dynasty, so he didn't hesitate to enter the inner hall privately and also wanted to see her and present a clever plan. General Gao tried to speak. Jiao Chan didn't quite believe that Gao Shun had any strategies to help the great Han, but at least it was the last glimmer of hope. The clever plan is. Gao and his wife will sleep together in the same bed and go to Wushan together. Gao Shun said solemnly. Gao Shun has a clever plan. He only knows that he can only live for at most one day and must fulfill his wishes. Moreover, in history, Jiao Chan's whereabouts have been unknown since the death of LV Bu, indicating that he committed suicide in despair at this time. I also considered saving her life. Why not engage in the act of creating a seventh-level floating slaughterhouse? But Jiao Chan was stunned. General Gao, what are you saying? I never expected that General Gao, you are usually upright and upright, but at this moment you are so. Despicable. Although General LV is in dire straits, he has not yet died, and you are actually going to bully the mistress's concubine. You. You are truly unforgivable for your sins. I'm going to tell General LV now. Jiao Chan was very excited and got up before leaving. Madam, wait a moment. Gao Shun suddenly grabbed Jiao Chan's sleeve. General Gao, you're too rude. Let go. Gao can let go, but the big man will completely sink from now on. The emperor of the Han dynasty not only suffered from the usurpation of the Chao family, but also the collapse of heaven and earth, the reversal of heaven and earth, the three kingdoms, the eight kings vying for supremacy, the chaos of the five dynasties, and the confrontation between the northern and southern dynasties. In the past, the world of the great Han dynasty was full of devastation, and there were not a single person among the people of the great Han dynasty. Han blood is not upright, and who horses run rampant. Jiao Chan looked at Gao Shun in surprise. If the lady wants to see this scene, she can leave as long as possible. It is the spirit of Wang Situ in heaven, who will never rest in peace forever. Throughout the Han dynasty, emperors have wept and shed blood under the Nine Springs. After Madam's death, how will she have the face to meet her adoptive father? How to tell my adoptive father about the current weather of the Han dynasty? How can we face the grace of our adoptive father's upbringing? Jiao Chan was completely stunned. But. But, General, how can we save the Han dynasty? General Gao is talking nonsense, isn't he? General may be frivolous and cheerful, but he's just trying to deceive me. Do you think I look like that kind of person? 
Diao Shan stared at Diao Chan with bright eyes. Diao Chan glanced up and down at Gao Shan, and indeed, whether it was his temperament or his past character, Gao Shan was never someone who coveted beauty. With an unparalleled character of high obedience, loyalty, and righteousness, it is even less likely to bully the mother. In law. Now speaking these words, there is only one explanation, which is that he really wants to use this matter to support the great man. But there is really no logical connection between these two, and Yao Chan is completely unable to convince herself to believe in Gao Shan. Madam, if you still don't believe it, then Gao borrowed a sword from you. Gao Shan suddenly pulled out his sword and handed it to Jiao Chan's hand. Madam can wield a sword around Gao's neck. If Gao and Madam cannot have a good strategy to support the great Han after the clouds and rain, Madam can kill Gao with one sword. This. Jiao Chan held Gao Shan's sword and hesitated. Now the situation is very clear, LV Bu is bound to fail, and he is destined not to fulfill his adoptive father's last wish. If Gao Shun doesn't appear, he has already committed suicide. Is this really a manifestation of heaven, pitying one's own loyalty and filial piety, and specifically asking Gao Shunlai to offer advice for oneself? Da Han, have you once again entrusted your fate to your own body? The last time my adoptive father implemented a serial plan, he also used his own body to make the great man secluded and restore his vision. Is it the same again this time? As long as she can fulfill her adoptive father's last wish, Jiao Chan will not hesitate to take care of her own body. She doesn't love Dong Zhuo, nor does she love LV Bu. She can devote herself to them for the sake of the Han dynasty. Gao Shan is not only young and handsome, but also has a noble character, unparalleled loyalty and righteousness, much stronger than Dong Zhuo and LV Bu. Jiao Chan's only doubt was that after having sex with Gao Shan, he was unable to come up with a strategy to help the big man. Okay, I promise you. Jiao Chan bit her silver teeth and finally agreed to Gao Shun's request. Gao Shun was overjoyed. However, dot. Jiao Chan's words changed. I don't need General Gao's sword for my body, I have my own seven-star sword. Jiao Chan raised the short knife she had just used to commit suicide with. The knife was dark all over, but its cold light was exposed. The blade was inlaid with seven colored pearls, shining brightly and dazzling. The seven-star treasure knife belonged to the father Wang Situ of Jiao Chani back then, and was handed over to Chao Chao to assassinate Dong Zhuo. After Chao Chao's assassination attempt failed, the seven-star sword returned to Dong Zhuo. Later, Dong Zhuo was killed and the seven-star sword returned to Wang Yun's hands. After Wang Yun's death, Jiao Chan inherited the relic of his adoptive father. Whenever she saw the Seven Star Sword, Jiao Chan remembered his adoptive father's voice and smile, and couldn't help but shed tears of sadness. In the midst of despair today, Jiao Chan had planned to use it to commit suicide. But I didn't expect it to come in handy at this moment. General Gao, you have come up with a plan. The seven star sword passed from my adoptive father to my concubine will blow hair and cut iron like mud. If my concubine holds this precious sword around the general's neck, no matter how skilled the general's martial arts are, it will be extremely difficult for him to survive. If the general and my concubine. After getting along with my concubine, we cannot come up with a plan to support the great Han, and the general will undoubtedly die, General Gao regrets it now. If there's still time, I'll pretend I haven't seen General before. Jiao Cicada's face is as cold as frost, word by word, with a chill piercing through her bones. Gao's intention to support the Great Han is absolutely unanimous. If there is no plan to repay his wife's righteousness, even if he dies without hatred. Gao Shunkai didn't think so much. Anyway, at most tomorrow morning, he will definitely die. The saying goes that dying under the peony flower is also a charming way to be a ghost. It is much better to die at the hands of Jiao Chan than to die at the hands of Chao Jun. Well. Okay. Jiao Chan slowly lifted the seven-star treasure blade and placed it on Gao Shan's neck. 
Gao Shan was very excited and immediately went to untie Jiao Chan's clothes. Jiao Chan closed her eyes and waited, her face as heavy as mist, unable to tell whether she was happy or sad. Madam, this is very boring. Please cooperate, madam. Is this also part of the general strategy? That's right. Find Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com well. Well, how can we cooperate? Kneel down. General, you. Madam, Kuang Fu De Han. In front of the Guanin statue in the Xiangtang of the state capital, a phoenix falls to the dust and a flying dragon rises to the sky. After a period of clouds and rain, the sun has risen three poles. Jiao Chan woke up quietly and found that Gao Shan was still pressing on her body, while she lay on the ground, her delicate back muscles aching. General Gao, do you have any plans to help the great Han? Please let me know. Gao Shanjing bowed his head and willingly became a young ox. Suddenly, he felt a chill in his neck, and the Seven Star Sword had already been pressed against him. Gao Shan had already set aside life and death, not afraid at all, and continued with his own affairs. General Gao, speak quickly, otherwise. Don't blame me for being ruthless. Madam, wait a little longer, you'll understand. The taste of a beauty is so wonderful that it can last a moment. Jiao Chan's eyebrows furrowed tightly. Can Gao Shan really deceive himself? Is it true that the big man is hopeless? My adoptive father, Cicada, I apologize to you. After my daughter killed Gao Shan, I committed suicide and apologized to my adoptive father under the Nine Springs. Jiao Chan is about to kill Gao Shan, who is buried in hard work. But on second thought, with Gao Shan's high purity as a person, he would never deceive himself with such despicable schemes. I must have misunderstood something. While Jiao Chan was struggling and pondering, she suddenly felt a wealth of knowledge about swords, halberds, horseback riding, archery, and marching in battle emerging from her mind. Her wrist, holding the Seven Star Sword, also felt particularly powerful. As if a single blow could not only kill Gao Shan, but also cut off his head. Chapter 3 Gao Shan's Proposal for Marriage and Green Cloth's Marriage to a Daughter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, what's going on? Jiao Chan was greatly puzzled. Gao Shan's sword fell to the side, and Jiao Chan continued to hold a seven-star sword around Gao Shan's neck with her right hand. She picked up Gao Shan's sword with her left hand and looked at the door latch ten meters away. Throw the sword with force. The sword pointed straight at the latch, and with a click, the latch broke. Jiao Chan was stunned. What has happened to my body? I'm afraid my husband Lu Bu will not be able to use such force. Looking back at Gao Shan who was busy, Jiao Chan suddenly realized. General Gao, it turns out that this is your plan to support the Great Han, it's really unbelievable. Jiao Chan couldn't figure out why he had obtained such martial arts skills out of thin air after having sex with General Gao. Is it possible that General Gao is an immortal? Gao Shan looked up in shock, with a bewildered expression on his face. What did Madam say? What did you gain? Having obtained martial arts skills no less than that of his husband L. V. Bu, isn't this exactly what General Gao expected? Having acquired L. V. Bu's martial arts skills. This. Is precisely Gao's plan to support the great Han. Are you still satisfied, madam? Gao Shan is also foolish. How did Jiao Chan acquire L. V. Bu's martial arts skills? But as a qualified flower picker, of course, one must descend the donkey along the slope at this time. Satisfied, but still satisfied. General Gao had this ability, which was indeed beyond Jiao Chan's expectations. It seems that General Gao is indeed of noble character and has no ulterior motives. He sincerely assists Jiao Chan in helping the Great Han. Just. 
Jiao Chan took off the seven star sword hanging around Gao Shun's neck and let out a leisurely sigh. At this point, simply acquiring a body of martial arts skills is of no great use. Even my husband LV Bu is helpless in the face of Chao Chao's army of tens of thousands. What if there's one more Lu Bu? Jiao Chan asked Gao Shun to stand up and put on his own clothes. He once again demonstrated his martial arts skills, and indeed, his strength and skills were no less than those of Lu Bu. How good would it be if I had acquired this martial arts skill earlier? At this point, Gao Shun had already put on his clothes. As he was getting dressed, he kept thinking about how Jiao Chan inexplicably gained the power of LV Bu. It was so magical. Perhaps Gao Shun suddenly thought of the sentence he heard when he was just reborn. Chao Thief's talent has been successfully bound, Yin and Yang are inverted, and heaven and earth are reversed. Gao Shun vaguely understood the meaning of this sentence. What is the talent of a Chao Thief? Isn't it just harming someone else's wife? The reversal of heaven and earth, the inversion of Yin and Yang. Is it true that after the transformation of the phoenix and the phoenix, the wives who engage in sexual intercourse with themselves will gain the ability of their husbands? Is this? This too magical? Anyway, I saved my life and didn't die at the hands of Jiao Chan. But tomorrow morning, will you die at the hands of Wei Su and three others? Jiao Chan's military strength is so high now, why don't you let Jiao Chan go and kill Wei Shusan? But Gao Shun shook his head and denied his idea. Nowadays, the city of Xiapi is flooded with water, and people are in a state of panic. Even if Wei Xusan and his companions die and there are no rebels, Xiapi city cannot be defended. I still cannot escape death. Besides, who can prove that Wei Su intends to rebel? That's brother Lu Bu. If he conspires with Jiao Chan to kill him, LV Bu will definitely turn around and immerse himself and the other two in a pig cage. Just as Gao Shun was struggling, the entrance of the incense hall was suddenly pushed open. In an instant, the sunlight shone brightly in the hall. Jiao Chan, you scumbag, let you clean the incense hall, you die. Following the sunlight, there was also the cunning and sarcastic face of LV Bu Zheng's wife Yen Shi. But Yen Shi was stunned at the sight of Gao Shun. General Gao, why are you here? Are you still with Jiao Chan? Yen looked at the two with suspicion. General Gao. Which General Gao? Shouldn't Gao Shun be guarding the city in the East City? Another rough voice came in, it was the world's top warrior, Lu Bu. Lu Bu was also dumbfounded when he saw Gao Shun and Jiao Chan standing side by side. Gao Shun, what are you and Chaner doing? This. I will be discussing the matter of defending the city with Madame Jiao Chan. Are you discussing with Jiao Chan about defending the city? Unless Lu Bu is intellectually disabled, it is impossible to believe in Gao Shun. General, it's like this. Gao Shun coughed lightly and explained, there are three ways to be unfilial, and having no offspring is the greatest. Today, the general entrusted the important task of Dongqing to Gao. Gao knew he had a great responsibility and had already set aside life and death. But Gao is twenty and fifty, but he has no wife or family, let alone no offspring. So before sacrificing oneself for the city, if you want to leave incense, it can be considered a death without regret, and then you came to find Chaner to burn incense. LV Bu stared at Gao Shun. Of course not, Gao specially came to the mansion to propose marriage to General LV. I want to marry General LV's daughter. Unfortunately, both the general and his wife were not at the mansion, so Gao had to discuss with Madame Jiao Chan Gao Xuanxin played the drum, but I don't know if he can deceive Lu Bu. Oh, Chaner, is that so? LV Bu turned his head to look at Jiao Chan. Jiao Chan glanced at Gao Shun and sighed in her heart. In order to support the great man, this man has hidden too many things in his heart. I really don't know how much he struggles with Gao Shun's integrity to make him do that trivial thing with himself and then lie to the Lord. It's really unfair to him. Zhao's Huyuan.com General, 
Our young lady Lingchi has always admired Gao Shan, and this general knows it. Today, I decided to marry Lingchi to General Gao in order to continue the tradition of the Gao family. Jiao Chan has just made an agreement with General Gao, only waiting for General's approval Jiao Chan bowed to Lu Bu. Gao Shan looked at Jiao Chan in surprise, never expecting Jiao Chan to help him get married. Upon careful consideration, Lu Bu realized that the reason why he trusted Wei Su more was because Wei Su had a kinship relationship with him. If you marry your daughter to Gao Shan, then Gao Shan will become your son. In law and you can completely trust him. By handing over the East City to him like this, LV Bu felt even more at ease. Why does Lu Bu cherish his daughter in order to protect the city and save his life? Moreover, Gao Shan is young and handsome, brave in battle, invincible in all battles, and a generation of heroes in the military. Daughter Lingqi had an early affection for him. When Chao Chao first attacked Xiaopi, LV Bu wanted to marry LV Lingqi to Yuan Shu's son in order to seek Yuan Shu's assistance to Shuzhou. LV Lingqi cried to the death. This time, it happened to fulfill my daughter's wish, and at the same time, it completely made Gao Shan work hard for herself. Okay, that's it. I was going to marry my daughter Lingqi to Gao Shan, and will get married today to fulfill our marriage. At the moment of life and death, Lu Bu had no choice but to drag the mud and water. Upon hearing LV Bu's words, Yen Shi, the legitimate wife, immediately became anxious. General, never do this. Our daughter should not only marry nobles and nobles, but also wealthy and prestigious families. How can she marry a commoner-born warrior? Moreover, the appearance of Gao Shan here is not as simple as Jiao Chan said. I have asked the servants, and no one has seen Gao Shan come in. It is clear that he is stealing jade and incense, and has an affair with Jiao Chan. Chapter 4 Lingqi leaving the pavilion, Jiao Chan watching the moon. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, pa, suddenly, Lu Bu slapped Yen Shi in the face. Others may not have believed it, but General Gao's character is beyond doubt. Although Lu Bu did not trust Gao Shun very much and felt that he was an outsider, he was not very confident in handing over military power to him. But Gao Shan has always been pure and upright, and he doesn't believe that he stole Jiao Chan or killed LV Bu. With Gao Shan's naivety in matters of men and women, Lu Bu probably stripped Jiao Chan's clothes and sent him in front of him without blinking an eye. Besides, defending the city is the most important thing now, and there are also important matters entrusted to Gao Shan. How could Yen Shi make a big fuss in front of Gao Shan? Lu Bu was furious and scolded the Yen family in front of Gao Shan. Also, this general is not from a prestigious family background and is also a humble martial artist. Do you feel aggrieved? Your younger brother is incompetent, he drank alcohol and caused a crime, and he missed my military order. Are you slandering Gao Shan again now? Are you siblings like birds of a feather, trying to fall into a situation where you were supposed to be alone. After Lu Bu angrily rebuked Yen Shi, he turned around and left the fragrant hall. Yen Shi quickly chased out to explain. Thank you very much, madam. After the others left, Gao Shun bowed and thanked Jiao Chan. Jiao Chan shook her head. General, you don't need to be polite. Jiao Chan did this not for the general, but for the Han dynasty. Lingqi is a straightforward girl with a graceful demeanor. If you can obtain excellent martial arts skills by engaging in sexual intercourse with a general, then there will be an additional general with high martial arts skills in Shepi. Facing Chao's army, the chances of winning have increased by one point. Just. After hesitating for a moment, Jiao Chan gritted her teeth and said, If we can overcome this great difficulty, general, Please always remember that it is our responsibility to support the Han family. Otherwise, Jiao Chan will not rest with General. Now that Jiao Chan has the military power of LV Bu, he has become more confident in threatening Gao Shunlai. Madam, don't worry, Gao will definitely remember it in my heart. 
Gao Xuanyan's words were powerful and powerful, but his heart was in turmoil. What beautiful thing is Jiao Chan thinking, the talent of Chao thieves is naturally only effective for wives. L. Yu Lingqi is a yellow flower girl without a husband. Who ability can she acquire? Wei Su and others are about to rebel, and Gao Shan is still thinking about how to respond. Gao Shan and L. V. Lingqi got married, which should have been decorated with lights and decorations, but it is clearly not appropriate now. Dong Cheng couldn't do without the main general, so L. V. Bu quickly sent Gao Shan back. In order to help Gao Shan round the house and continue the tradition of the Gao family, L. V. Bu decided to send L. V. Lingqi to the East City as well. Yen cried uncontrollably. General, Lingqi is young and ignorant of human affairs. On the night of her wedding, she is afraid of offending General Gao Shan. Can I follow her to take a look? Jiao Chan asked L. V. Bu for his order. She now possesses superb martial arts skills, and of course, she must go to battle to kill enemies and resist the Chao thieves. But Gao Shan told her that if Jiao Chan went to help L. V. Bu at this time, L. V. Bu would definitely suspect the origin of her martial arts skills and only give birth to branches. It's better not to help Lu Bu for now, but to go to Dongcheng to help Gao Shan. Jiao Chan thought that Dongcheng was the main attack direction of Chao's army, and he happened to have a place to use it, so he agreed. In ancient times, when the daughters of wealthy families got married, they were all guided by an old lady to have sex. Now that we can't find a suitable candidate, it's not bad to let Jiao Chan go. With a high and noble character, placing Jiao Chan by his side reassured Lu Bu. After obtaining the approval of green cloth, Jiao Chan followed Gao Shan to the east city. Ling Chi, are you willing to go with General Gao? Jiao Chan first asks Gao Shan to wait outside the Tibetan soldier cave. She has something to say to L. V. Ling Chi first. Hmm. L. V. Ling Chi nodded shyly, her face blushing brightly. Gao Shan is strong and powerful, with a decent character. He also leads his troops to the gods, making him the number one hero under his father's command. Even if placed in the whole world, he is still a first dot class hero. L. V. Ling Chi has already fallen in love with Gao Shan. A month ago, L. V. Bu was going to marry her to Yuan Shu's son. She was completely disillusioned and couldn't have imagined that she still had today's happiness. At this moment, L. V. Ling Chi only wanted to thank heaven and had no other request. I mean, the city of Xiapi is not guaranteed overnight, maybe General Gao will. Jiao Chan didn't continue, but with L. V. Ling Chi's intelligence, she should understand. Wun Yang, don't worry, Ling Chi knows. Even though she knew that the Mandarin ducks might die together tomorrow, L. V. Ling Chi's face did not hesitate at all. Jiao Chan let out a sigh in her heart. Gao Shun was righteous, and Ling Chi was steadfast. She was truly a pair of talented people made in heaven and earth. I protected this medium myself, that's right. If the city of Shepi is protected and we repel the Chao army, Ling Chi, are you willing to join General Gao in the battle to support the Han dynasty and conquer the world? This is what Jiao Chan is most concerned about. She now only thinks that as long as she rounds off with Gao Shan, she can gain the strength to rival Lu Bu. If there is one more LV Bu, the chances of winning will certainly increase significantly. Wu Yang, what are you talking about? Helping the Han dynasty. Fighting the world. Ling Chi is just a weak girl. I mean, if you could gallop on the battlefield like a daughter. This. Tell Wu Yang. Jiao Chan stared closely at LV Ling Chi's eyes. Hmm. LV Ling Chi pondered for a moment and nodded firmly. As the daughter of a general, LV Ling Chi has loved to dance with knives and sticks since childhood. However, because women are naturally weaker than men, she can only learn some flower boxing and leg embroidery, and cannot go to the battlefield. But if she had the opportunity to go to the battlefield, she would definitely be willing. Okay, with Ling Chi's words, even if Wun Yang sacrifices her life, she will help General Gao and Ling Chi get through this hurdle. I'll go call General Gao in. 
Jiao Chan came out of the caves of fighters' garrison. LV Lingqi looked at Jiao Chan's back, but she didn't understand what Jiao Chan said. Although the situation is in danger now, where is the need for Wu Yang, a weak woman, to sacrifice her life? What's the use of risking her life? General Gao, go inside. Okay. Gao Shan had been waiting for a long time and was impatient. With the approval of Jiao Chan, he was about to enter the round room. General Gao, wait a moment. Jiao Chan suddenly called out to Gao Shan. Gao Shan turned around and looked at Jiao Chan in confusion. General Gao, actually you don't like Ling Qi in your heart, do you? This. Gao Shan was stunned. L. Yu Ling Qi is so beautiful and charming, why don't you like her? I know that General Gao does not love Ling Qi. Ling Qi's love for General Gao is a secret that everyone in the military knows, and I believe General Gao has also heard of it. But General Gao in the past never pretended to flatter Ling Qi. But now I can't wait to reunite with Ling Qi and look for Xu Yuan www.zhaoshuyuan.com. I know that General Gao is nothing more than adding a fierce general to Xiepi and rebuilding a beam and pillar for Kuang Fu Han. Gao Shan had nothing to say. The greatest misfortune in life is sharing a bed with someone you don't love and feeling wronged. Jiao Chan waves his hand to let Gao Shan enter the caves of fighters' garrison. I looked up and let out a sigh. Sleeping with someone she doesn't love, Jiao Chan has gone through it twice, feeling wronged. No one understands it better than her. Now, in just one day, Gao Shan shares the same bed with two people he doesn't love. He is such a righteous man, and his grievances may be even greater than his own. Jiao Chan felt both sympathy and admiration for Gao Shan in her heart, with a sense of empathy for the same illness. My adoptive father, you are in the spirit of heaven, bless your daughter and General Gao to overcome great difficulties and help the Han family. Jiao Chan faced the bright moon in the sky, her hands clasped together. The moonlight envelopes the earth and the slender figure of Jiao Chan, like a stunning picture of beautiful mountains and rivers, reflecting between heaven and earth. Report. General Gao, it's not good anymore. At this moment, a soldier flew to the east city in the darkness. Madam, where is General Gao? The soldier dismounted and hastily bowed, eagerly looking at Jiao Chan. What's up? Jiao Chan frowned and asked. Song Xian, Wei Su, Ho Cheng, and three generals rebelled. They stole General LV's Fang Tianhua halberd, took away the red hair horse, tied General LV to a bed, and dragged him and his people towards the southern city. When the villain escaped from the southern city, three rebel generals had already offered General LV to the Chao bandits and led the Chao army into the city. At this point, it is feared that the Chao army has already invaded the state capital. Please inform General Gao immediately, madam, and ask General Gao to make a quick decision. Chapter 5 Unmatched loyalty and righteousness, I am Gao Shan, a dramatic spirit. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, rebel and dares to do so. Jiao Chan's willow eyebrows stand on end. Rush into caves of fighters' garrison immediately. At this moment, Gao Shan Gang took off his clothes and also stripped LV Lingqi naked. LV Lingqi saw Jiao Cicada come in and screamed in fear, quickly covering her body with a blanket. Before LV Lingqi could blame her, Jiao Chan had already picked up Gao Shan and threw the clothes on the shelf to him. Something big is happening, gather the army quickly. Gao Shan listened to Jiao Chan's account of the incident while putting on his clothes. With a thud in his heart, what was supposed to come finally arrived. Gao Shan just didn't expect it to come so quickly. Madam, the situation is urgent. Please help me reorganize the army first. Me. Jiao Chan looked hesitantly at Gao Shan. Madam, now it's different from the past. The formation camp has been handed over to Madam, so Gao can rest assured. Nonsense, Gao Shan can't even distinguish between military orders, 
how can he reorganize the army now? I didn't mean that. General Gao, are you sure you want to hand over the general's authority to my concubine? Gao trusts madam unconditionally. Gao Shun directly handed the military talisman to Jiao Chan. Jiao Chan held the warm military talisman and was greatly moved. These days, there are very few people who can voluntarily hand over their troops to others. Moreover, being trapped in the camp is already Gao Shun's last resort. Jiao Chan took the military talisman and immediately rushed out. L. Yu Lingqi looked at the operation of Jiao Chan and her husband, and she was completely confused. However, she had no time to find out. Her father was given to Chao's army by a traitor. L. V. Lingqi quickly got up, dressed, and followed Gao Shun out of the caves of fighters garrison. Although the soldiers were puzzled by Jiao Chan's seductive approach to dispatching them. But Jiao Chan, who was originally Lady Lu Bu and had military talismans in hand, with strict discipline, still gathered at the fastest speed possible. Reportedly, the Chao army has occupied the state capital and is leading a large army to attack the eastern city. As soon as Gao Shun arrived at the front of the army, soldiers from Bingzhou came to report. General Gao, what should we do? Although she possessed the strength of LV Bu, Jiao Chan knew deep in her heart that LV Bu's ability to lead troops was not as good as Gao Shun's. Of course, it's to immediately kill towards the southern city and save my father. LV Lingqi quickly said. Lingqi cannot. Jiao Chan quickly stopped LV Lingqi and said, The army of Chao, consisting of tens of thousands, has now entered the city. If our army were to confront them, it would be tantamount to self-destruction. Even if LV Bu himself is here, he dare not rush into the tens of thousands of Chao army with two or three thousand people to save people, right? But. LV Lingqi was extremely anxious. Lingqi. Jiao Chan said seriously to LV Lingqi, Wu Yang understands how you want to save your father. As Wu Yang just said, at this moment, if we kill and save LV Bu in the southern city, all of us will have to be buried on the battlefield. But as long as Ling Qi speaks to you, Wu Yang and your husband will immediately lead troops to kill them. So now Ling Qi, you have two choices, either we lead troops to kill you and die together with your father. Either we immediately rush out of Shippi City and seek revenge for your father the next day. You can choose. Jiao Chan didn't love Lu Bu at all, so she didn't want to accompany him for burial. But Jiao Chan was well aware of Gao Shun's character. He was unparalleled in loyalty and righteousness. At this moment, Gao Shun must be like LV Lingqi, thinking of killing him and saving LV Bu. So Jiao Chan had no choice but to retreat and let LV Lingqi make a choice. If LV Lingqi still chooses to burn both jade and stone, there is no way. But if LV Lingqi cares about the life of her husband Gao Shun and has a hint of reason, then her desire to help the big man still has a glimmer of hope. Anyway, it's better than directly convincing Gao Shun, who is unparalleled in loyalty and righteousness. I saw LV Lingqi pondering in pain for a while, then looking south with tears in her eyes. Father, I'm sorry. If the Chao thief dares to harm your life, my daughter will fight to the death to avenge you in the future. Jiao Chan breathed a sigh of relief, but fortunately, LV Lingqi was not completely overwhelmed by her eagerness to save her father. Jiao Chan nervously looked at Gao Shun again. In fact, she was even more afraid that Gao Shun would violate the Axis. After all, Jiao Chan knew that in Gao Shun's heart, loyalty and righteousness were superior to everything. I saw Gao Shun, like LV Lingqi, looking south with a painful expression on their faces. Madam Jiao Chan, Lingqi, brothers trapped in the camp. After a long time, Gao Shun gritted his teeth and spoke to the entire army. In the current situation, if we go to the southern city, we will undoubtedly die. Our only source of vitality is in the western city Jiao Chan breathed a sigh of relief, but her heart couldn't help but feel a hint of disappointment. Is Gao Shun planning to make a rational decision? Although this is very rational, it seems that. 
It does not conform to Gao Shun's consistent loyalty and righteousness as a person. Because the eastern city was the main attack direction of Chao's army, there were tens of thousands of troops of Chao Ren outside the city. Although there are fewer Chao troops outside the northern city, heading north from Xiepi can lead directly to Pengcheng, which was guarded by General Zhang Liao. The Chao army will inevitably be closely guarded. I will never be able to break through from the southern city. So we can only break through from the western city, General Gao, please lead us to break through. Although Gao Shun's choice was wise, Jiao Chan still had some disappointment in her heart, and Gao Shun's image of loyalty and righteousness was shaken in her heart. No, it's not me leading the breakout, but Madame Jiao Chan, Yu, Lingqi, and the 700 brothers trapped in the camp, breaking through from the West City. What about you, General? Jiao Chan asked in confusion. Gao Shun looked up at the sky and slowly drew his sword. Of course, it's about killing Ben Nan City and surviving alongside the main public. Gao Shun held his sword and pointed to the moon, his handsome face shining in the moonlight, facing death as if returning home. Everyone was surprised. LV Lingqi looked at Gao Shun with emotion, tears streaming down her eyes. I didn't expect that besides myself, Gao Shun could also do it for his father without hesitation. Such a great man who sacrificed his life for justice, he really didn't marry the wrong person. Jiao Chan felt even more ashamed and went to the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com. It was a shame that she had just falsely speculated about Gao Shun's loyalty and righteousness. Unexpectedly, Gao Shun wanted others to escape while he went to die himself. Jiao Chan finally realized that Gao Shun's loyalty and righteousness were much greater than she had imagined. He did not sacrifice himself wrongly. Such a man is truly a good man of a great Han. He supports the Han family and leaves no one behind. Seven hundred brothers trapped in the camp, all moved inexplicably. In these days, there are only generals who treat their soldiers as cannon fodder. How could a general die on their own and let soldiers escape? What is the fear of such a general, even if he is shattered to pieces for him? Gao Shun glanced left and right at Jiao Chan and LV Lingqi, as well as the 700 brothers trapped in the camp. He threw away his sword scabbard and ran towards the southern city with his sword in hand. But at this moment, Jiao Chan, LV Lingqi, and the soldiers trapped in the camp, how could they allow him to die? L.V. Lingqi was the first to step forward and grab Gao Shun's arm. Husband, Lingqi knows that you are not afraid of life and death for the sake of your father, but in today's situation, it is futile for you to go to the southern city. Lingqi has lost her father and doesn't want to lose her husband again. Husband, Lingqi, please come and break through with us. Please break through together, General. We are willing to sacrifice our lives to pave the way for General. Seven hundred soldiers trapped in the camp knelt down on one knee, pleading with Gao Shun to stay. Gao Shun glanced at everyone and suddenly broke free from LV Lingqi. The Lord has been captured, and as a general, how can Gao Shun live alone? A great man in the midst of heaven and earth should prioritize loyalty and righteousness, and die with his ears. What is he afraid of? I am going to the southern city now. Who dares to stop me? We will engage in military and legal activities Gao Shun strode forward with great strides, but suddenly a heavy hammer hit the back of his head. Looking back, it was Jiao Chan. Gao Shun fainted on the spot. Chapter 6 The pie falling from the sky, Zhu Ling picks the beautiful Jiao Cicada alone. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, damn it, Jiao Chan is so strong that it hurts me so much. When Gao Shun woke up, he only felt a burning pain in the back of his head. He anticipated the hammer and was even prepared to pretend to be unconscious if the back of the head was hit. I didn't expect to feel really dizzy. That's right, Gao Shun never thought about going to die with Lu Bu. But he is well aware of the terrifying consequences of the collapse of character. If I didn't show loyalty just now, 
not to mention Diao Chan would feel cold, LV Lingqi would feel cold, and the soldiers trapped in the camp would also suspect him. The military's morale is unstable, and it is uncertain whether they can escape. Even if he escapes, his reputation will be tarnished, making it difficult for him to stand firm in this chaotic world. So this scene must be performed. In fact, one can also imagine with their toes that Zhao Chan, LV Lingqi, and 700 soldiers trapped in a camp would agree to let Gao Shun die and then they would flee. Everything is under Gao Shun's control. Upon waking up, Gao Shun felt like he was on a bumpy horse's back, but his chest and back were tightly pressed and soft. Difficultly opening her eyes and looking back, she realized that Zhao Chan was riding a horse, while LV Lingqi sat behind the horse holding him. Gao Shun was sandwiched between two beautiful women, and the experience was so captivating that it was bone-wrenching. Close your eyes, wish you could just grind it down like this, never dismount. But the good times don't last long. Someone is running away in the city, intercepting. Jiao Chan led 700 soldiers trapped in the camp to kill out of the western city, but was soon discovered by the scouts of the Chao army outside the city. General Zhu Ling of the Chao army immediately gathered his troops and blocked the main road. It's Gao Shun's camp. Zhu Ling was taken aback when he saw the flag of the army leaving the city. He immediately recognized it as the invincible and invincible camp. Gao Shun defeated Yuan Shu, defeated Lu Bei, and defeated the general Xia Dun of the Chao army, gaining a great reputation. Although there were only a few hundred people, Zhu Ling dared not show any carelessness. Ten thousand troops under his command quickly formed their formation and issued an urgent order. Immediately send someone to notify General Chao Ren in the east of the city, General Xia Dun in the north of the city, and General Yujin in the south of the city, and quickly send troops to assist. We must not leave Gao Shun. Gao Shun was the top general under Lu Bu's command, wielding his troops like a god. If he could be used by Chao Chao, it would be like adding wings to a tiger. Even if Gao Shun's loyalty and righteousness are unparalleled and he surrenders, he must be killed to prevent future troubles. Zhu Ling, facing only a few hundred people, has already employed a foolproof strategy. General, what should we do? A trapped general has noticed that Gao Shun is awake and quickly requests orders from him. Although there is a huge disparity in strength between the enemy and us, as long as Gao Shun gives a command, they will move forward without hesitation. But what can Gao Shun do? He doesn't know how to lead troops, let alone arrange troops and formations. Madam. Unable to do anything, Gao Shun could only gently grip Jiao Chan's small waist. Jiao Chan immediately understood the meaning of Gao Shun. Since Gao Shun woke up, there was no need to help him, but to prevent him from doing foolish things again, Jiao Chan asked Gao Shun and LV Lingqi to ride a horse together. LV Lingqi hugged Gao Shun and refused to let him go to the southern city to die. And Jiao Chan rode alone on a horse, picked up a long halberd, and stepped out of the trapped camp. Who is the enemy general who dares to fight against me? Jiao Chan raised her long halberd and let out a coquettish cry. The soldiers on both sides of the enemy and us were dumbfounded. The soldiers trapped in the camp were all stunned as they looked at Jiao Chan. Why did Madame provoke them? Isn't this a way to die? Report to General Zhu, the enemy will challenge. The Chao army's messenger here urgently reports to Zhu Ling. Zhu Ling was directing the soldiers to place deer antlers, and upon hearing the report, he immediately waved his hand. Is it Gao Shun's provocation? He wouldn't have been his opponent and would never have fought against him alone. Order the entire army to hold the battle line tightly, wait for reinforcements to arrive, and surround and annihilate the Gao Shun's camp. Zhu Ling is not a reckless man and is not interested in one dot on point one combat. It's not Gao Shun, it's a woman. It seems like Lady Lu Bu, Jiao Chan. Jiao Chan is famous all over the world for her beauty. Although I have never seen Jiao Chan before, I was amazed by her appearance just now under the moon. Except for Jiao Chan, who has such a stunning appearance. What? 
Jiao Chan. Zhu Ling widened her eyes and said, Will I have been dreaming? Zhu Ling Simule arrived at the front of the formation and glanced at the Jiao Cicada in front of him, who was wielding a halberd and jumping off a horse. Is it Madame Jiao Chan? Madame Jiao Chan is indeed rumored to be incredibly beautiful. But at least Zhu is also a general, how can he fight against his wife, a weak woman? Spread the word to make the world laugh. If Madam doesn't want to perish, please persuade General Gao Shun to surrender to my family Chao Gong immediately. In this way, Madam and the soldiers trapped in the camp can have a good future. Jiao Chan saw that Zhu Ling did not accept the challenge and had no choice but to turn back and seek help from Gao Shun. Gao Shun asked LV Lingqi to lead the horse to Jiao Chan's side and whisper a few words in her ear, which immediately made Jiao Chan's eyes light up. I only know who I am. It turned out to be General Zhu Ling, a former general of Yuan Shao's army, who betrayed his leader and was a traitor. Jiao Chan swore to kill him. Don't look down on me as a woman. If you defeat me, I will immediately persuade General Gao Shun to lead all the soldiers trapped in the camp to surrender to you. How about that? All the soldiers of the two armies were in a loud uproar. Especially the soldiers trapped in the camp looked at Jiao Chan in shock. Isn't Jiao Chan explicitly asking them to surrender to Chao Chao? They followed Gao Shun in both the south and north battles, but they were not weak bones. Jiao Chan doesn't need to save their lives like this, does he? And many soldiers of the Chao army were already laughing back and forth. Zhu Ling was both surprised and delighted. Madam, are you serious? Speak like a mountain. Madam's words don't count, please ask General Gao Shun to personally promise. Zhu Ling looked at Gao Shun in front of LV Lingqi. As a subordinate general under General LV's command, Gao naturally obeyed his wife's orders. Gao Shun said forcefully and forcefully. All the soldiers trapped in the camp now understood that Gao Shun was protecting their lives. But they just want to say that they don't want to live a miserable life like this. They are willing to live and die together with Gao Shun at Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. Several generals trapped in the camp advised Gao Shun not to let Jiao Chan participate in the battle. Instead of embarrassing himself, it would be better to let them compete with the Chao army. But Gao Shun remained unmoved. And Zhu Ling here is already ecstatic. Who is Gao Shun? It can be said that he is the most loyal and righteous general in the world. What army is trapped in the camp? An invincible and invincible army in the world. Every time Zhu Ling listened to Chao Chao and military strategists analyze the situation of Lu Bu's army, he praised Gao Shun for being both talented and invincible. He wished he could be taken over immediately. But advisors such as Guo Jia and Sun Yu told Chao Chao that Gao Shun was too loyal and righteous to surrender to Chao Chao. Chao Chao also knew that his request was extravagant, and he often sighed with regret. If he could make Gao Shun and the trapped camp surrender, wouldn't Chao Chao be surprised when he found out? How can one's own credit be small? And such a great credit, surprisingly, can only be obtained by defeating Diao Chan alone. Zhu Ling felt the huge pie hit her forehead. General Gao Shun, Zhu Musu is the first to hear your righteous words and speak like a mountain. Don't break your promise. Zhu Ling suppressed his ecstasy and finally confirmed with Gao Shun. Who is Gao Shun? Dare to speak half falsely, may ten thousand arrows pierce through his heart and die. Gao Shun immediately swore. Okay, Madam Jiao Chan, Zhu Ling will come to meet you for a while today. Zhu Ling's face was flushed, he lifted his sword and jumped onto his horse, immediately killing Jiao Chan. Jiao Chan gave Zhu Ling a cold glance. Slowly mobilized the warhorses. Some soldiers trapped in the camp slowly pulled out their short swords wrapped around their waist. They have decided that after Jiao Chan's defeat, if Gao Shun asks them to surrender, they will commit suicide. Madam, I'm sorry. The two horses were at odds, and Zhu Ling swung a knife at Jiao Chan. Chapter 7 Chen Wang Zhang Kai, 
the enemy of Chow Chow's father killing. You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, many soldiers who do not want to see the scene of death have already closed their eyes. But only a metallic crisp sound was heard. Under the moonlight, Zhao Chan waved his long halberd and slashed the Zhu Ling sword horizontally. Sparks flickered, and Zhu Ling's big sword was directly swung out. His wrist trembled violently, and before Zhu Ling could recover, Zhao Chan's long halberd had already taken advantage of the situation and landed on his forehead. Zhu Ling widened his eyes, filled with shock. But everything is too late. With a thud, the long halberd pierced through Zhu Ling's cheek, cut his throat and blood spurted out. Zhu Ling fell off the horse on the spot. Soldiers trapped in the camp, follow my wife to charge. Jiao Chan gave a coquettish shout, lifted the reins of the horse, and rushed towards the Chao army ahead of her. Chao Jun was originally eagerly waiting for Zhu Ling to chop over Jiao Chan, waiting for Gao Xuanha to surrender to the enemy camp. How could he have thought that his own general was chopped down by a peerless beauty? Everyone was stunned. And the soldiers trapped in the camp on this side did not react for a moment until Gao Shun drew his sword and shouted, Kill! With strict military discipline, they were all awakened and crossed their horses with their swords to kill the Chao army. Although there are only 700 people trapped in the camp, they are all full of armor and armor, with strong bodies, excellent horsemanship, and exceptional martial arts skills, all of whom are elite soldiers with one enemy in ten enemies. On the other hand, the Chao army, although not miscellaneous soldiers, has not had much armor as an ordinary army these days. They are even less likely to choose one from a hundred miles like soldiers trapped in the camp. In addition, the loss of the main general has led to a chaotic military morale. Under the mortal-like charge of Jiao Chan, the Chao army's formation was easily torn apart. Without a commanding general, the Chao army was unable to organize a second defense. Jiao Chan picked several dozen people in a row, and in just one stick of incense, he killed the Chao army and pierced through them. The elite and strong soldiers trapped in the camp protected Gao Shun and LV Lingqi, followed Jiao Chan, quickly freed themselves from the entanglement of the Chao army, and headed west. What? Jiao Chan. No, Gao Shun ran away. When Chao Chao heard the report of the defeated soldiers, Gao Shun broke through with Jiao Chan, who even killed Zhu Ling. He was completely unharmed. The entire hall was filled with strategists and generals, including Gu Jia, Sun Yu, Cheng Yu, Xia Ho Yuan, Kai Yang, Lu Jin, and others, all stunned. You've really caused me trouble. Jiao Chan led the trapped camp all the way west, running for a hundred miles before stopping to rest. Gao Shun pounded his chest and feet, blaming Jiao Chan and LV Lingqi, and forcing him to flee. Jiao Chan and the soldiers trapped in the camp all apologized to Gao Shun. I don't blame you, I know you're doing it for me. Gao Shun weakly waved his hand to the crowd. Lord, Gao Shun is sorry to you. If you have any problems, Gao Shun swears that he will avenge Lord in this life and cut the bandits' lives to pieces. Gao Shun faced the east, stroked his chest and saluted the military. It took him a long time to turn around, his face full of sorrow. LV Lingqi saw Gao Shun so mournful, and although she felt sad in her heart, she still stepped forward to comfort Gao Shun. General Gao, this is not a moment of sorrow. We escaped from Xiapi lightly, feeling exhausted and without food or supplies. The current top priority is to solve the problem of military rations, otherwise we will all starve to death Jiao Chan maintained a clear and rational mind, and finally escaped from Xiapi. She didn't want to starve to death. From now on, she will start to revive the Han dynasty and fulfill her adoptive father's wish. I remember General L. Yu used to move from Guangzhou to Hebei, then to Hunan, and then to Shuzhou for thousands of miles. It's also a light assault, why haven't you been anxious about military rations? The problem of eating for hundreds of people cannot be solved by Gao Shun, and he plans to learn from Lu Bu's experience. 
Sure enough, a trapped general slammed his head and suddenly realized. General Gao is wise, and the issue of food and forage is too easy to solve. Just like General LV did back then, if there were lords to take in, they would eat the lord's food. If there were no lords to take in, they would rob along the way. Other generals trapped in the camp nodded one after another. Even Jiao Chan felt that this method was feasible and not at all inappropriate. But Gao Shan frowned greatly upon hearing it. How does Lu Bu usually solve the food and forage problem? Robbing civilians. Is it appropriate? How inappropriate? In this chaotic world, humanity has long been lost, and chaos has surged in various places. For centuries, villages have been abandoned overnight. We are not lacking in this chaotic army. Gao Shun hesitated. Although he behaved improperly in his previous life, at least he did not harm the people. As an expert, I do not embezzle public funds, do not seize people's real estate under the guise of archaeology, and do not publish statements such as renting out houses without money. Only focused on finding women to sleep with. Those who wish to go to bed will never be forced. Now let him lead his troops to plunder the people, he really can't take action. But the issue of military rations must also be resolved. What should we do? How about robbing the people with chaotic soldiers? Gao Shun suddenly had a flash of inspiration, feeling that he was just too smart. But everyone was puzzled. Gao Shun explained, going west from here is the area of Runan, where there are numerous warlords. There are generals Zhang Kai and Mei Qian from the Yuan Shu tribe, Lu Bai and Gong Du from the remaining Huangjin tribe, as well as Yuan Shu's rebellious generals Chen Lan and Lei Bo from various sizes. In addition, Cao Cao also sent troops into Runan with the intention of taking advantage of the fire and annexing the warlords in the area. There are also numerous mountain bandits and bandits on the mountain. The situation in Runan can be described as complex and intricate. In such circumstances, there will inevitably be many chaotic soldiers. Nowadays, with the chaos of war and chaos, the people have very little surplus food in their homes. What can we grab? It's better to grab these chaotic soldiers. How do you think this can still win the hearts of the people Gao Shun knows he's not a good person, but he really can't take action against the people. This has nothing to do with justice or morality, it is purely driven by human instincts. The general listened to Gao Shun's words and also found them reasonable. So Gao Shun ordered the army to move slowly and dispatched multiple scouts to investigate where there were chaotic soldiers or bandit hideouts ahead. After eating several injured and sick horses, a scout finally reported that in the direction of Ruyin, there was a group of chaotic soldiers, about hundreds of people, rushing towards Runan with the women and property they had robbed. Gao Shun listened with great joy. Immediately led a large army to approach the chaotic army. ZhaoZhuyuan.com, who are you waiting for? Dare to grab the young master's head. Do you know who my lord is? A chaotic commander wearing cloth armor, seeing nearly a thousand armored elite soldiers, was not panicked, but instead looked down upon Gao Shun and others. Whoever your lord is, robbing the people is a capital offense, and I, Gao Shun, will destroy you. The chaotic soldiers captured many young women, and one of them, a disheveled and disheveled girl, looked up in surprise when she heard Gao Shun's words, with a strange expression in her eyes. Gao Shun. So you are General Gao Shun, the commander of the trapped camp under LV Bu's command. I have admired you for a long time. I, Zhang Bai, am the sworn brother of Prince Chen Zhang Kai. Today, as per the order of Brother Wang, I am on a mission. I kindly request General Gao Shun's convenience, and there will be a reward in the future. It is rumored that Zhang Bai is the leader of the trapped camp, so he lowered his stance a bit. However, the pride between his eyebrows added a touch more. In this territory, no one dares not to buy face from his brother Zhang Kai. Chen Wang what Chen Wang? Are there any other feudal lords these days? Zhang Kai, Gao Shan does know him. 
Isn't he the Tao Qian general who killed Chao Chao's father? When did you become king? General, after Zhang Kai betrayed Tao Qian, he defected to Yuan Shu. A few years ago, he was sent by Yuan Shu to kill the king of Qin, Lu Chong, and the prime minister of Qin, Luo Jun. Since then, he has been stationed in Qin. After Chao Chao led his army to defeat Yuan Shu, who was in a weak position, Zhang Kai unexpectedly declared himself king and took over the state of Qin. Although no one admits to him as the king of Qin, Zhang Kai stole a lot of wealth from Chao Chao's father and added to the abundant treasury of the state of Qin. In the past six months, Zhang Kai has gathered refugees and raised tens of thousands of troops, and his strength cannot be underestimated, I see. Gao Shun nodded and looked faintly at Zhang Bai. What if I don't make it convenient for you? Chapter 8 Killing Chicken and Killing Dog, Three Women, One Drama You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals Window Ads by Google Push, what tens of thousands of troops? Zhang Kai needs tens of thousands of troops. How dare Chao Chao lead the main force to conquer Shuzhou with confidence? Zhang Kai is afraid that he may be able to sweep through the two states of Yan and Yu and dominate one side. These chaotic armies love to exaggerate, saying that they are a million strong army, and it would be great if they could have 30,000 strong soldiers. Zhang Kai's tens of thousands of troops can fight at most a few thousand. And they are all miscellaneous soldiers with disheveled armor. Zhang Bai was immediately angered by Gao Shun. Those with high surnames should not be shameless. You appeared here, I believe that foolish Lu Bu has already been defeated, right? Shuzhou has already been captured by Chao Chao, right? Even if you are a lost dog and are trapped in a strong camp, how can you be a match for the 100,000 strong army of King Chen? If you dare to move my finger today, Brother Wang will surely crush you and your hundreds of remaining soldiers into a piece of flesh and mud Zhang Bai was arrogant, and a trapped general whispered to Gao Shundao, General, although Zhang Kai's tens of thousands of troops are imaginary, his strength should not be underestimated. We should not form enemies or strong enemies when we first arrive in Runan that's right, Gao Shun, listen to your subordinate's advice and get out of here obediently. The young master can go back and persuade King Chen to give you a place to settle down in the southern part of Hunan. Otherwise, you and your hundreds of remaining soldiers will probably be buried in the wilderness soon. We regret it too late, ha 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 Zhang Bai's ears are quite effective. Gao Shun gave Zhang Bai a cold glance and slowly drew out his sword. Gao Shun, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Zhang Bai's expression suddenly changed as he watched Gao Shun's movements. But I saw Gao Shun's face sinking like water, his long sword raised high. With an emotionless, killed sound, 700 soldiers trapped in the camp, led by Jiao Chan, rushed into the chaos like a tiger pouncing on a flock of sheep. What Chen Wang, what tens of thousands of soldiers, Gao Shun only knows that he needs to eat now and his subordinates need to eat. The saying goes, only when you are warm can you have that desire. How can you not eat? Zhang Bai, with over 300 cloth-clad miscellaneous soldiers, is not a fallen opponent. With only one charge, Zhang's troops abandoned their carriages and horses, released women, and hundreds of people collapsed and fled. Gao Shun, wait for the young master. If I don't kill you, I swear by Zhang Bai not to be human. And you, beautiful woman, sooner or later I want you to kneel in front of me and lick your toes. Zhang Bai scolded fiercely and immediately ran away. Jiao Chan wanted to pursue, but unfortunately, the horses were tired and had to give up. Gao Shun immediately sent someone to count the seized items. If he didn't investigate, he wouldn't know. When he did, he was startled. Zhang Bai had quite a lot of things to grab. Two large carts of coarse linen clothes, one cart of yellow wine and charcoal, a large cart of various cheap jewelry, and three large carts of mulberry linen and cotton bottles, jars, and jars. It's just that the grain is a bit scarce. More than ten chickens and ducks, 
seven or eight dogs, a few bags of corn and wild vegetables, and some dry goods such as soybeans and mung beans. The other jars of pickled vegetables stink because too little salt was used. Gao Shan looked at these grains with disdain. I really miss the days when I ate white rice and grilled big wastes in the 21st century. But there's no other way, it's better than killing a horse. Besides, three of the large carts were equipped with three slow horses, which was really not good enough to kill and eat. Gao Shun ordered to take out half of the grain and put it into the pot, allowing the soldiers to have a proper meal before proceeding. Kill chickens and dogs, bury pots and cook rice. In no time, the fragrance overflowed from the wilderness. Braised chicken with soybeans, stewed dog meat with soybeans, and hot millet rice, although not as delicious as roasted kidneys, can still be swallowed. Gao Shunjing was enjoying his meal when he suddenly heard a female voice like a oriole sound. What kind of damn thing is this? Oh my god, is it human food? Looking up, it was a civilian woman who was robbed by Zhang Bai who was complaining loudly and even threw the pottery bowl in her hand, shattering it on the stone. This is a girl of sixteen or seventeen years old. When she lost her temper, a beautiful woman of about twenty years old next to her pulled at the corner of her clothes, looking anxious. But the girl didn't even glance at the beautiful woman. These two women both have delicate skin, fair faces, and are dressed in silk. At first glance, they are not ordinary commoners. Among these dozens of women, they are undoubtedly the most beautiful. Gao Shun noticed them early on. If you have any dissatisfaction, let me know. Gao Shun walked up to the girl. The girl looked up and down at Gao Shun and snorted coldly, Gao Shun, right. Look, what food did you assign us? Is this human food? I'm afraid we won't even feed pigs. Gao Shun glanced at the food that had fallen to the ground, including wild vegetables, stinky pickled vegetables, and the rest was a very clear and watery paste of millet. What do you want to eat? Gao Shun asked casually. I'll eat whatever you eat. The girl raised her chin and said. Gao Shun sneered, do you think it's possible? Why not? Didn't you just tell Zhang Bai that those who bully the people will die? What are you feeding the people now? Eating unpalatable wild vegetables and smelly pickled Chinese cabbage, while you eat dog meat and chicken. What is this not bullying the people? Be sharp-tongued and roll off if you don't want to eat. Gao Shun glanced contemptuously at the young girl. Brother trapped in the camp follows him through life and death, of course, he wants to eat the best. Although these women are pitiful, in this era of severe food shortage, being able to provide them with enough food to satisfy their hunger is considered benevolent. Where did they get to pick fat and slim down? Although Gao Shun is lascivious and this young girl has some beauty, he has never been associated with women's bad habits. The more mature a woman is, the more bad breath she has. This is a valuable experience summarized by Gao Shun after reading countless women. The girl didn't expect Gao Shun to face her beautiful woman so decisively, and immediately became angry. Gao Shun, do you know who I am? Gao Shun smiled and said, another Zhang Bai, how come I don't know who you are? If it weren't for General and the soldiers trapped in the camp, you would have been singing under Zhang Bai's crotch now, ha ha ha. The soldiers trapped in the surrounding camp laughed heartily. LV Lingqi gave Gao Shun an angry look and her face turned red. Only the old driver Jiao Chan remained unchanged. Do you believe my master, can you make it impossible for you to establish yourself in Runan? The girl was so angry that her eyebrows stood on end, and her beautiful eyes were about to burst into flames. Threatening this general again, ha, huh, Zhang Bai has a horse to escape, but you don't have a horse. Come on, people. In. Two soldiers trapped in the camp immediately stepped forward. Take this woman down, wash her clean, and find the Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com tonight. The brothers are queuing outside the general's tent. 
Two soldiers trapped in the camp exchanged a glance and were immediately overjoyed. They are invincible iron-blooded warriors, but they are not kind-hearted men and women. The girl was suddenly frightened and her face turned pale. Don't. The beautiful woman next to the girl, quickly stand up. General, let me go of my younger sister. She is young and immature, so I apologize to the general on her behalf. The beautiful woman bowed to Gao Shan and saw that he had no intention of showing mercy or cherishing Jade. She whispered, as long as the general lets go of my younger sister, I will definitely repay the general. What kind of reward? Gao Shan had a cold and proud expression on his face, but he said in his heart, is it possible that this beautiful woman is sacrificing herself to atone for her younger sister? Please take a step to speak, General. The beautiful woman approached Gao Shun and whispered to him, General Gao, to be honest, I and my younger sister are both wives and concubines of the Ruyan Hu family. That Hu family? Hu Yang. Who is Hu Yang? Gao Shun looked bewildered, confident that he was quite familiar with the official and unofficial histories of the three kingdoms. Although this world may differ from the official histories, overall it has not deviated from the grand plan. But Gao Shan has never heard of the name Hu Yang. Definitely not a big shot. General Gao. At this moment, the knowledgeable Jiao Chan spoke up, Hu Yang is a famous wealthy man in the area of Runan. During the reign of Emperor Ling, there were eight wealthy merchants in the world. Mi, Xiao, Zhang, Chao, Lu, Hu, Su, and Bu. The Hu family ranked sixth. Although the previous head of the Hu family, Hu Mubin, was killed by the prefect of Hanoi, Wang Quang, and the Hu family split, Hu Yang was only a collateral branch of the Hu family, but financial resources should not be underestimated, Hu Mu's class. Upon hearing this name, Gao Shun immediately understood the origin of Hu Yang. Chapter 9 Hu Family Castle, Swords and Crossbows Intention You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Ads by Google equals Window Ads by Google Push, although Hu Mu Ban is not famous in history, its family power cannot be underestimated. The Book of Later Han evaluates the eight cooks of the Eastern Han Dynasty, one of which is the Hu Mu Ban. What is the eight cooks? Not a chef, but someone who can rely on helping the world to move the court. According to history, eight kitchens provide wealth, with millions of coins. It can be seen how strong the financial resources of the eight cooks are. The Hu Mu class is also known as the rare Hu Mu Ji Pai in the world, and its wealth cannot be underestimated. This Hu Yang is a descendant of Hu Mu's class, and he can't come without money. Despite the emergence of heroes during the Three Kingdoms period, there are actually shadows of wealthy individuals behind the heroes. Lu Bei relied on the three families of Zhang, Su, and Mi, while the Sun family in Jiangdong relied on the three families of Qiao, Bu, and Lu. The Chao family, where Chao Chao was located, was originally a wealthy man, and Chao Song bribed eunuchs with billions of dollars. However, even so, the rise of Chao Chao was inseparable from the support of the wealthy Zhang family represented by Zhang Miao. It is evident that money plays a role in turbulent times. If I could get the support of this Hu Yang, wouldn't it be easier to stand firm in troubled times? That's right, my husband is the biological nephew of Hu Mu Ban. General Gao should have come from Shuzhou, and now he must be in a state of exhaustion. If the general is willing to forgive his sister's disrespect, I am willing to take the general and my brothers trapped in the camp and eat at Hu family castle. What does the general say? What? Sister, are you taking these rough guys home? The girl became anxious as soon as she heard the beautiful woman's words. It was obvious that she looked down upon Gao Shan and the group of big-headed soldiers, as if Gao Shan and the trapped camp had entered the Hu family castle, which would dirty her eyes. Shut up! The beautiful woman immediately scolded the girl. This is quite possible. Gao Shan smiled slightly. The camp was unable to find a place to eat, 
so it was easy to plan for the next step. Other women still eat wild vegetables and pickled vegetables, and Gao Shan asked the soldiers to bring dog meat soup to the beautiful women and girls. I'm about to go to someone else's house for free lunch, at least we have to show some respect. After dinner, Gao Shan ordered the other women to leave. This is not something that Gao Shan is willing to do, but in front of Jiao Chan and LV Lingqi, one cannot forcibly rob a commoner woman. Moreover, Gao Shan currently does not have his own territory, making it inconvenient to bring a group of women. Fortunately, these women are all at the level of village ants, and it is estimated that Zhang Bai looted a certain village and took away all the old vegetables from the village. Letting go is not a pity. However, there was a disheveled and disheveled girl who refused to leave, claiming to follow the Gao Shan army. I have some medical skills and no herbs. General, please accept me. The girl held her clothes by the corner and looked weakly at Gao Shun. Gao Shun glanced at the girl, her face dirty, covered in red rashes, and her hands covered in ulcers. Apart from her beautiful voice, she was useless. Gao Shun is not interested in ugly women, but military doctors are scarce resources. It's just that traditional Chinese medicine emphasizes experience. How could a young ugly woman have such advanced medical skills? Being a military doctor is definitely not enough, but Jiao Chan and LV Lingqi need a maid to take care of them. Gao Shan saw that this ugly girl was suitable, so he temporarily took her in and let her listen to Jiao Chan and LV Lingqi's commands. The army advanced towards Hu family castle. Along the way, Gao Shan chatted with a beautiful woman and gained a general understanding of the situation in Hu family castle, which further confirmed his speculation. Zhang Bai really robbed a village. Zhang Kai took advantage of Chao Chao's attack on LV Bu and sent Zhang Bai to rob a county under Chao Chao's rule. A beautiful woman and a young girl returned to their hometown to pay respects to their ancestors and bury Hu Yang, but unfortunately were caught by Zhang Bai. Most warlords of all sizes in the Runan area bought Hu Yang's account, but Zhang Kai was an exception. Firstly, Zhang Kai is a newcomer and has no friendship with Hu Yang. Moreover, Zhang Kai was wealthy and did not lack the cotton, iron tools, salt, food and other supplies sold by Hu Yang. The most important thing is that Zhang Kai has always been greedy for money and does not engage in transactions. So even if a beautiful woman and a young girl reveal their identity, Zhang Bai won't buy it and instead becomes even more excited. Zhang Bai plans to use beautiful women and girls to blackmail Hu Yang and demand a huge ransom, isn't it beautiful? But I didn't expect to be robbed by Gao Shun. General, it seems that Zhang Kai will definitely retaliate against the general. Jiao Chan heard the beautiful woman's words and her eyebrows furrowed, forcing her to remind Gao Shun. Zhang Kai also had at least 5,000 or more troops, which posed a great threat to the trapped camp of only 700 people. Moreover, these 700 people are all the assets of Gao Shun and also the capital for his revival of the Han dynasty. Never use it to consume with Zhang Kai. Understood, let's not worry about that for now. Let's talk about it when we go to Hu family castle. Hujiapu is located in the southern suburbs of Ruyin, covering an area of thousands of hectares and with a huge scale. Gao Shun led his army to the front of Hu family castle, and saw the city wall towering over Tu Zhang, which was already similar to some cities. In the late Eastern Han dynasty, many wealthy individuals or local gentry established fortresses to protect their property. For example, Su Chu, the general of Chao Chao, established a fortress for self.defense before defecting to Chao Chao. The Hu family castle in front of us can be considered a massive fortress of this era. However, even with such a fortress for self.defense, it may be difficult to establish a foothold in the chaotic area of Runan, where warlords abound. If Hu family castle can remain calm and composed, Hu Yang must have other means to rely on. Please inform us that Gao Shun from Shuzhou is visiting the Lord of Huyang Manor. Gao Shun sent a trapped general to negotiate with the guards guarding the fortress. The guard commander glanced up and down at the general. Where did the bandits come from? 
dare to think of who family castle. Get out of here quickly. Crack, the trapped generals clenched their fists. If it were for his original temper, he would have taken action long ago. But now he is trapped in a camp and alone, rootless and without a foundation. He knows he has to endure things. That young man, I didn't make it clear earlier. We are in the camp under the command of General Gao Shun of Shuzhou. Just now in the wilderness, we just saved the two wives of Lord Guibao, and now we are making a special trip to see them back. I am also invited by Lady Guibao to stay overnight in Guibao for a period of time. Zhaozhuyuan.com please let me know on your behalf. Trapped generals should try to lower their stance and show utmost respect. But the commander of the guards was instantly angry. What did you say? You arrested my wife. Bold. Quickly release my wife, otherwise all of you Shuzhou bandits will be destroyed under our Hu family castle with dozens of swish sounds, dozens of soldiers at the castle gate drew their swords and glared fiercely at the trapped generals. The trapped generals were finally completely angered. Are you fucking deaf? Didn't you hear me say we saved your wife? Which of your dog ears heard that we kidnapped your wife? Have you never heard of the name of Gao Shun trapped in the camp? You want to destroy me? Do you believe that General Gao Shun ordered me to make your fortress disappear? It's not that the generals of the garrison are boasting. Judging from the size of this fortress, there are only two or three thousand soldiers guarding it, and the combat power of these guards is probably just like that of ordinary wealthy families. Even if there is a city wall as a defense, as long as siege equipment is crafted to capture the power of the camp, it can be breached within half a day. It's just that one soldier in the formation camp is missing one, and they can't afford it. Otherwise, how could a small wealthy fortress be taken seriously? Trapped generals have never experienced such grandeur in their lifetime. Eight trapped soldiers behind immediately raised their long spears. At the entrance of the gate, the guards of the fortress were drawing swords and crossbows. What's going on? Why is there going to be a fight? Gao Shun could see the situation at the city gate from a distance and frowned. The Hu Yang concubine behind her spoke with a strange expression, Oh, it seems that the master doesn't want to take you in. If I were you, if I had to show my face, I would have left now. Chapter 10 Intellectual Beauty and Enthusiastic Hu Kaiju You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, Xiaoyun, don't talk nonsense. The beautiful woman on the side quickly rebuked me and accompanied me with a smile, saying to Gao Shan, there must be a misunderstanding. I am willing to go first to the castle and persuade the master to take in the general. If the general is not at ease with his concubine, he can temporarily leave Xiaoyun behind. What does the general think? Madam, how could you? Upon hearing the beautiful woman's words, Xiaoyun suddenly became anxious. She didn't want to be alone with Gao Shan, a group of proud soldiers and fierce generals. If a beautiful woman goes in, she will collude with the master and turn against him, and she will not be able to be lined up by these barbarians. Others don't know, but she knows who her wife and master are. No, in case you go in. Without the need for my mistress to say, Gao Chan was the first to refuse. As long as you're not a fool, you know that the idea of a beautiful woman is unreliable. But Jiao Chan's words were interrupted by Gao Shun. Madam, please rest assured to enter. Mr. Gao absolutely trusts Madam. Gao Shun smiled and said to the beautiful woman. Jiao Chan and L. V. Lingqi looked at Gao Shun in surprise. General, do you really trust me? The beautiful woman hesitated. Along the way, Gao had a long conversation with his wife and knew that she was a gentle and wise person. Besides, we are requesting to stay overnight at Hu family castle, but unlike Zhang Bai, we are trying to blackmail his wife. Where is the reason not to let Madame go? The beautiful woman glanced at Gao Shun and smiled slightly. Thank you very much for your trust, General. 
please rest assured that I will not disappoint you. After the beautiful woman finished speaking, she walked towards the castle. Gao Shun, are you crazy? How can you believe her? As soon as the beautiful woman left, my concubine Xiao Yun immediately stopped working. Gao Shun didn't look back, just stared at the back of the beautiful woman entering the castle. Madam Xiao Yun, why can't I trust Madam De? Can't you believe in the character of Madam De in your family? I see you have been mesmerized by that slutty hoof color. Legend has it that you are trapped in a camp with unparalleled loyalty and righteousness, and your character is noble and pure. Seeing you today is really a big joke. I see you are both lecherous and foolish, blind and insane, be reckless. The trapped soldiers glared angrily at Xiao Yun. Gao Shun raised his hand to stop the soldiers and asked Xiao Yun in a plain tone. How to say it? It's strange that those sluts can come back. Can't she? Even if she disregards our kindness to save her, she still has to miss you, right? You are Mr. Who's favorite concubine. Saying you're stupid, you're still gasping for breath. How could the backyard of a wealthy family be as simple as you think? Our wives, whose sisters and sisters cried on the surface, actually wanted each other to die. Especially after that slutty hoof gave birth to a boy, not to mention to us concubines. Even the old master's deceased original wife and the eldest son left behind, he wished to kill them. It is precisely because I am favored by my master that she hopes for my death even more. And she claims to be noble, she looks down on you big-headed soldiers even more than I do. It's strange that she can come back as soon as she goes. I'm afraid she'll have the fortress guards bow and shoot arrows to drive you away. Wait until then, don't implicate me. If you want to blame me, blame yourself for being foolish. Why didn't you say it earlier? Jiao Chan was very angry and immediately ordered the soldiers trapped in the camp to prepare to line up to face the enemy. But Gao Shun waved his hand. Let's wait and see. I believe Madam is not an untrustworthy person. Jiao Chan and LV Lingqi both looked at Gao Shun in shock. Now, let alone Xiao Yun. Both of them must think that Gao Shun is a pervert. If Gao Shun were to be replaced by El Vibu, they would definitely think that Gao Shun had been chatting with beautiful women all the way, and that he had hooked up a relationship. Now, it's his crotch directing his head. But with Gao Shun's character, it shouldn't be so. The two women didn't know what Gao Shun was thinking. But after only waiting for a stick of incense, the beautiful woman appeared again at the entrance of the fortress and spoke to the guards for a few words. The guards sheathed their swords one after another. And pulled up the heavy gate. General Gao Shun, please lead your troops into the castle. The beautiful woman approached Gao Shun, folded her hands, and bowed with blessings. Show off everyone's noble demeanor. Am I right? I firmly believe in the character of Madame Gao Shun. Gao Shun is proud and authentic. The beautiful woman also smiled slightly and responded to Gao Shun. Delicate yet not charming, fully showcasing the elegant charm of intellectual young women. Jiao Chan, L. V. Lingqi, and my concubine Xiao Yun were all stunned. Xiao Yun never expected that the beautiful woman would keep her promise. And Jiao Chan and LV Lingqi looked at Gao Shan, then at the beautiful woman, isn't it just Gao Shan being seduced by lust, but the two of them colluding with each other to become adulterers. The interior of Hujiapu is mainly divided into two areas. The core area is the inner castle where Hu Yang and his wife, concubines, and children live, as well as the outer castle where tenant workers live. The inner castle is luxurious, with houses and courtyards arranged in rows and separated by walls. The transportation of the outer fortress and the fields are stacked, and the production and life of migrant workers are orderly. Hu Yang warmly received Gao Shun and placed the trapped camp in the outer castle, assigning a piece of tiled houses to station. The settlement matters were personally handled by Hu Yang and the beautiful woman, and it can be said that they were treated with great courtesy. The soldiers trapped in the camp have finally settled down. Gao Shun also has time to plan his own future. 
Anyway, we need to have a base first, always relying on others is not a long-term solution. But to have a base, there must be two conditions. Firstly, it is the use of powerful force. Trapped in a camp full of armor and armor, the soldiers are fierce and unparalleled in combat power. After all, there are only 700 people, one less than one dead. Gao Shun cannot just use the trapped camp to compete. We must rapidly strengthen our military force. But the team is huge, and food and forage are a big problem. There must be a fixed source of income. Runan, this seemingly unowned land, is full of warlords and has great opportunities to take advantage of. But looking at the world, it's not like that anymore. The north and west of Runan are Chao Chao, and the east is Yuan Shu. Although Yuan Shu was weak, the skinny camel was bigger than the horse. Looking for the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com, let alone a Sun Tzu who was eyeing from the southeast. And to the south of Runan, there is a powerful Jingzhou Mu Lu Biao, with hundreds of thousands of troops on land and water. Just because the yellow ancestor of Jiangxia had tens of thousands of elite talents, it was not as high as Gao Shun's expectations at this time. So, Runan is not a suitable choice for a base area. Gao Shun's ideal is simple, to have a safe haven with his women. But now it's difficult to achieve just this ideal. If only there were a strategist. Gao Shun himself is not a warlord with literary and military strategies, he knows nothing except for picking up girls. There is no strategist, not even someone to discuss, and there is really no clue about future planning. How about going to Longzhong to invite Zhu Liang? As soon as Gao Shun had this idea, he shook his head. With his current identity, not to mention Zhu Liang, no aristocratic or literary figure would actively seek refuge with him. It seems that we still need to rely on sleeping with women. Which strategist's woman is within my reach now? Gao Shunjing was pondering this question when suddenly the door was knocked on. Husband, master who invites you to the banquet. The ones who came were LV Lingqi and Yao Chan. Another banquet. Gao Shun has a headache. This wealthy man who is also too enthusiastic. He has only been here for ten days and has already invited more than twenty banquets. The soldiers trapped in the camp also have enough food and flour to manage. Okay, come right away. In this era of lacking clothes and eating less, of course we should eat when we have food, and whoever doesn't eat will be foolish. Gao Shun put down the pen in his hand and carefully collected the paper on the table. Jiao Chan saw the picture on the paper, frowned, and a surprised light flashed in her eyes. General Gao, what are you painting here? 